Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, you will be learning about this Azure Resources and the Knowledge Center. To begin with that, Microsoft has providing all the resources at one place to get more information on Microsoft Azure. For example, the Knowledge Center is the one of the key thing. If you just go to the Microsoft Knowledge Center on specific to Azure, you have all the FAQs kind of information. Let's say you want to understand about more about virtual machine for the common problems. Let's say, uh, am I built separately for logical disks? No. So such kind of, you know, logical questions or designing specific questions, you, if you have anything, you would be you know, getting here uh, are the common questions what they are receiving on those products uh, will be you know, published here as a FAQ so that it's like yes I know kind of you know answers so that you can you know become as an expert with respect to all those products uh, or the services which are offered by Microsoft within Microsoft Azure Knowledge Center and coming back to other uh, resources within the Microsoft Azure Resource Center resource page you have a training material which is available so most uh, mostly it would be about hands-on and uh, learning for free and learning path so here you can you know choose one of the path for example as your fundamental this is a course uh, what we are trying to you know learn so like this for every course there is a complete path and you can follow that path and complete the step-by-step -step instructions on learning uh, text so that you would be definitely learning more uh, from there also, you have the videos which are recorded uh, every Azure, um, every Friday, Microsoft Azure recorded videos or maybe Channel 9 specific videos or the downloads and the events which are coming up uh, on the on specific to the Azure resources, any of the events which are uh, running or Azure updates and code samples, few of the code samples can be downloaded. Also, case studies, uh, for example, uh, let's take one of the case study, maybe Adobe, how it ha it has benefited by using the Microsoft Azure. They would be you know, talking about um, that specific uh, information. So it's all about um, a resource center uh, will have almost all the possible informations you have available here you also have the templates that can be used as the uh, any of the template for example you can you know deploy a VM simple VM with the tags so this is a, a simple a VM uh, can be used with this kind of you know PowerShell commands so this is a one template which is available and you can start uh, directly deploying from your browser itself if you have already signed it and also coming back to the other uh, one would be the most important one would be the solution architecture so if you go if you are looking for some kind of you know solution let's say you want to you know on maybe or let's say you can uh, IoT, for example, you're thinking about Internet of Things, uh, kind of you know, design for your solution. You may have to you know uh, look at these kind of you know designs which are available. Similarly, for the networking, so let's say I want to create one of the networking uh, on on-premises network connected to Azure using a VPN. So it would you know this is a design which it talks about. And you can download this video file on top of it, and you can add the components, and you can design this kind of you know solution. And they talk, uh, they give you the recommendations, everything. All the architecture designs that are um, that are that should be configured as best practices can be found within the resource center or solution architecture. So this is very important. Um, so here, as of now, you can you know, think about it. Most important thing would be the trainings and the videos and the knowledge center and templates, solution architects, whatnot. Almost everything is important. If you are a developer, again, code samples and uh, for the latest up to date, um, you can get in touch with the events and Azure updates and downloads. You can, you know, download some of the uh, CLI files or specific to the Azure resources and SDK information. You can download and you can develop on top of it or you can integrate those things and also white papers. So these white papers are a kind of, you know, ebooks which are available. Let's say you want to, you know, learn about IoT signal reports. Uh, there's an ebook. So there is analysis reports. White papers are available. So if you are uh, more into the management side, this might be you know, useful or if you're, the, if you're looking into the designing and uh, architectural side, these white papers might answer your uh, cloud specific solutions. I hope this is useful for you and make sure that you know you check out uh, these uh, resource center or resources uh, web page that would really help you out in order to learn uh, in the future for with respect to Microsoft Azure. Thank you for watching this.